local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. So officially yesterday we did not hit 90 at Harrisburg International Airport. It was 89 degrees, but many of us did hit 90 during the afternoon thanks to a lot of sunshine, just a few passing clouds and still relatively dry air in place. Now we're seeing warmer conditions here this morning. There is a little bit more humidity moving in for today, but in general, this is just kind of a tease for what's happening next week. Next week, I think we'll, we will feel a substantial difference outside in both the heat and the humidity. So we'll get into that in a moment, but a nice, quiet, serene start here over Chambersburg. Same thing goes across York and York County. Really, any showers and thunderstorms from last evening stayed south of the state line. So areas near Baltimore, Towson moving to the east over the Delmarva Peninsula to get a brief shower or thunderstorm. But notice this really big clear hole right now right over top of the midstate. There are some clouds off to the west with a couple of straight showers. That is in advance of the cold front that we're watching for later this afternoon. Now, in the meantime, temperatures in the upper 60s, low 70s. It's a Gorgeous morning out there, very mild. Remember, just going back to Tuesday morning, Monday morning, temperatures in the 40s and 50s, I believe even Wednesday morning too, featured those types of numbers. So a much warmer experience outside this morning compared to what we had earlier this week. I mentioned the official high fell just short of 90 degrees. By the way, records for this time of the year, upper 90s, if not close to triple digit heat. So next week we do challenge some records. We'll show some of those numbers in just a bit, but not really seeing that yesterday. Pretty much a standard summer day here in the midstate. Now, our hourly forecast for today does call for highs likely near 90 degrees, if not above. Your high temperature today will depend on if we get showers and thunderstorms to develop before the heating of the day is complete. But then as those showers and storms move by, temperatures tonight will drop back to close to 70 degrees, if not some low and mid 60s out there. But the humidity drops too. So that's the one big difference with this front coming by. It is the only really active area of weather here on the surface map this morning. So pretty obvious what's happening today. Heat and humidity building ahead of the front. Cool air trying to move in behind the front. That clash, that meeting or intersecting of those air masses is what's leading to showers and thunderstorms later today. So let's break it down on precision cast that really the morning hours other than some passing clouds should be dry. Lots of sunshine. Now for the afternoon, it really depends on when things kick off. But notice this forecast model, very spotty in terms of who gets a shower or a thunderstorm. I've been noticing this model has been showing mostly east of the river for this afternoon and evening. I don't know if that's actually going to be a trend, but it's something to monitor. Either way, it is not a guarantee that you get rain today, but what we do know is once the front passes through about after 8 o'clock this evening, we clear out, we dry out and heading into the weekend. There is nothing but sunshine and low humidity, so it should be a really great Father's Day weekend. Now the extended forecast I mentioned things are going to ramp up in a hurry next week. We are in the bullseye of each day reaching 90 degrees plus some higher humidity and depending on what model trends you look at, there's the possibility of upper 90s several days next week. So Monday's records 98 Tuesday 97 Wednesday 98 and we are awfully close in our forecast numbers and we could obviously increase those as we get a little bit closer. I do think there's the chance that we could see some heat. We haven't really had too often in the last few summers with upper 90s. By the way, speaking of summer, next Thursday, the official start of summer in the oh, afternoon. Okay. So a lot going on here in the seven day forecast. And if you notice after today, it's all sunshines. There's not going to be a whole lot to talk about next week other than the heat. this building heat. But I think that is going to steal the headlines. Plus, it'll be warm at night, too. So maybe think ahead. If you need to get that air conditioning serviced, mm. maybe you need to pull out the fan from the attic or the basement, whatever you need, it might be a good opportunity to do that. Very good advice, Dan. Yeah, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit and it's going to be extended here into next week and a little bit beyond, too. All right. Thank you, Dan. Sure. We'll be right back.